Alright everybody, it is time once again for Kingdom Rush. Um, I'm tired of all the lag that the last episode of Ruin that will never see the light of day uh, created. Um, so I'm going to play a nice simple game called Kingdom Rush that I've already played for over 30 episodes. Here's Rotten Forest. Rotten Forest is hard. Rotten Forest is hard. Let me get that out of the way. Well, from what I remember, it's hard. And they don't give you a lot of money. Might and magic. Fully loaded. Want some? Get put some. A smell on you. And they start you off with the new enemy right here, husks. Husks are kind of like brigands. They're pretty similar in terms of stats. But you can see husks, they're a little tough. Giant spiders coming out of the top. Also, husks do not give a lot of money, I'll say that. Giant spiders are bad to deal with, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of divide and conquer here. I'm going to try and maybe spear a lot of spiders. And Ignis a lot of gargoyles, okay. Okay, so apparently... Reinforcement deaths count as husk spawns. I did not realize that. That might throw a wrench in my strategy of just not investing in too many early game um ready. By fire be purged. Too many early game Barracks, okay. Demon spawn. I should have just built this here in the first place. This is the this is the demon spawning entrance. It's the only demons that come out of here. Noxious creepers, oh boy. Fire be 
Lucky with egg mustaches. Freedom! My Need a light. Here we go. Okay, a noxious creeper is basically just a buffed uh, spider matriarch. There is hardly dead any difference at all. They're just buffed. Also, there's barely any of them in this level. Um, we're just turning everything down a bit. There's, there's barely any of them in this level. Um, mostly, they appear in fungal forest. And their hatchlings are... Nah, they're not quite as tough as a giant spider. Ignis, do the thing again. some sizable damage. Not enough to get Tesla yet. Still not enough for a Tesla. Here we go. I'm gonna slow the guy down. Demon Hounds and Demon Lords might complicate things, we'll see. the sky up a bit more, Ignis. Can we get barracks to block people back here? I see dead people. Need a light. Man, I know it's useless this wave now. Okay, it wasn't. False alarm. Demon imps. Gargoyles. Okay. Alright. 
see if we can deal with the flying wave good enough. Treants, here they come. These guys are the main problem of the level. So tainted treants are just really tough. And they have armor and a lot of health, but they come in big numbers. And that's the problem with Tainted Treants. It makes them so dangerous. Wait until you see what else Tainted Treants can do. Need a light. Yep, more of them. This one needs to start adding magic to the top. I'm not letting this wave yet. Fire and brimstone. All right. Now, chap in any second now, just watch this. Yep. Extra ones pop out of the ground. start risking it with the husks. Because here's the point where I need a barracks at the end. Thank you for going after the right guy, Ignis. That was that was good. Swamp things are these huge, super high health guys that um, also have a ranged attack. And they have pretty quick regeneration, too. And look at that, more tainted treants popping up.
Oh, in case you're wondering why I'm not getting any elementals. If an elemental dies, it turns into a swamp thing in here instead of a husk. Here they come. Need a light. I think we're doing good enough on the demon amps. I'm just gonna see what to do after this wave. More noxious creepers, some swamp things, husks. So, the palm morph on you, actually. Fire and brimstone. For honor and glory. No mercy, justice served. Let there be light. <laughs> I've used these guys as like a swamp thing bad. bait before. I think those guys might have been a bad choice, but we'll see. Alright. Crisis basically averted. I don't think necromancers will honestly be able to do too much because I have Teslas. Yeah, the extra tainted tree into the entire level make it a little tough. Oh yeah, they can also pop up incredibly close to the exit. This wave will basically be able to take a break. Fire on the earth! 
See, look how quick close to the exit they can pop up. Alright, Swamp Thing, Necromancer, Demon Lord, Demon Hound, a lot of Demon Hounds. A lot of them. Just a ridiculous amount of swamp things. Just a ridiculous amount of swamp things. All right. We need a lot of stalling and a lot of grabbing. Honestly, there is a pretty good chance that I die to this boss. I'm not getting barracks there until uh, Reenmok actually gets close. And here's the boss wave. 
it through just ridiculous, like ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of tainted treants. Demons are kind of relevant. As much of that as possible. Wait, these guys are the issue. <laughs> Simply put, they just never stop coming. He'll die on his own. Now it's just up to dealing with all this. Alright, he's dead. Oh boy. That boss fight is scary. <laughs> like, that boss fight's actually really hard. Ah, oh, that's it. Actually, that doesn't appear to be it. There's more tainted trains spawning still. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Rotten Forest. Um. I know, I made it look a little easy, but that is a insanely hard level. Like, that level's tough. That level's tough. But we did it. We beat Rotten Forest. And after this, we have Fungal Forest, which makes a lot more usage of the Noxious Creepers, and it adds Rot Shrooms, and it only uses Rotten Forest enemies as the enemies, no demons or anything. That was Rotten Forest, so I hope that was a very... ...entertaining video. Rotten Forest, there it is. Alright, um... See you another day. Goodbye.